Hey friend, Chris Vandeviver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today in our 30-day series of Why Logic Pro Rules, I wanna bring your attention to a feature that I think doesn't get the respect that it deserves, but that's the quick help feature. And I also wanna direct your attention to some amazing resources that exist already for Logic users. Now I'm gonna date myself here a little bit. I'm gonna go with the old back in my day thing. But back in my day, which wasn't that long ago, I started with Logic Pro 8. And though there were some great websites and some helpful tutorials and amazing forums, but back in my day, you really had to dig deep to find the answers that you needed. Usually had to submit a post on a forum and just hope that somebody knew what you were talking about that they could help you. Well, that has changed with Logic Pro 10. In fact, Logic has a built-in quick help feature to help you navigate around Logic. And it's so amazing. If we go in the left-hand corner here, we have what looks like a question mark. It is the quick help button. If I click on it, we have a couple different views of quick help, but in a nutshell, all you have to do is wave your mouse over anything in logic and the quick help menu will tell you something about it. So we have a MIDI region. It contains MIDI notes and controller events and more information beyond that. But if that isn't enough for you, all you have to do is press command backslash and it brings up further documentation on this particular feature. And so we can dig into select regions, cut copy and paste regions. So much is at our fingertips right within Logic when we need help. And you can adjust the view of the quick help by going to help and we can adjust how it appears. So is it an inspector pane? Because this section to the left is the inspector or we can have a floating window. Cool. Or we can have bubbles at the pointer location. So this is my least favorite, even though, you know, it sort of makes sense because I'm pointing at this. I probably want to know something at that moment, but I find it's a little obtrusive. So let's just select Inspector Payne here. But if I open some of the plugins, we even get some feedback based on the plugins, not all plugins, but it's a good many of them. So if you ever find yourself lost within Logic, the quick help feature is amazing for just getting a little more context. Additionally, you can now Google just about anything regarding Logic and there will be an Apple support document. So let's navigate to a web browser and just type in Logic Pro recording. I don't know, just anything. And right here we have Logic Pro 10, get started with audio tracks. And we have a support document that provides links to other features. So if I type in Logic Pro vintage EQs, which we'll dig into in a different video, right there with the support documentation, Logic Pro 10 Vintage EQ Collection with links to each of the different EQs. It's amazing. And additionally, we can open the Books app and download the different manuals for Logic Pro 10. Now, a couple other features I wanna point out. If you're coming from the world of GarageBand and you've bought Logic, you've downloaded it, and you're like, whoa, this is a bit too much for me, you can actually taper down your experience of Logic to something that feels more like GarageBand. If we go to Logic Pro 10, Preferences, Advanced Tools. We can actually turn off all of the advanced features. So editing, score, control, and let's just disable all. And let's even turn off show advanced tools. And just like that, we've got something more akin to GarageBand. We have the wood panels on the left and right hand side. Our solo mute and record buttons look just like the buttons in GarageBand. And if we dive into some of the menus here, like functions, edit, they're going to be much more tapered down to be a little more inviting to those of us who are not used to such a complex and deep program like Logic Pro 10. But for those of us who want all the features, I suggest going to the advanced tools and making sure to enable all because you're gonna see features in YouTube videos and blog posts and you're gonna try to find them and you're not gonna be able to. Just enable all of these and you've got everything at your fingertips. One other thing that I wanna point out to you in terms of navigating Logic is getting to know key commands. Now I have some resources on key commands in Logic and I'll link it in this video. But if we navigate to Logic Pro 10, go down to key commands and to edit, you can also use key command option K to open the key command dialog. I highly, highly recommend starting to get to know different key commands within Logic. It is much faster than mousing around for things. And I would say that a lot of the key commands are very logical for what the function is. As you can see, global key command record is the key R. That makes so much sense. The piano roll is P. To open the various editors, you just press E. But if there's a particular key command that you're not sure about and you wanna try to locate it, 
I mean, we could just search for nudge. And now we've got some key commands for nudge and even ones we can set ourselves. Or you can use this press button and we can actually identify a key command based on what we're pressing. So if I use command F, and let me just clear this out. Now, if I press key command, command F, we can now find the show, hide, flex, pitch, and flex time function. So the key command window allows us to search for key commands, search for functions that we want, but don't have a key command for, or even identify key commands based on the keys that we're pressing. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, ylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new emails, videos, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.